Rasty McGibbon with Logan Oman and Zach Simon, University of St. Thomas guys. Congratulations on your win today. Thank you. Um, you guys uh, winning today, having a tie yesterday, and in my experience with pool play, ties can make things really interesting. Have, yeah. have, have, have you started to look into the dynamics of uh, what has to happen tomorrow? Yeah, we've looked at it a little bit. Um, we're kind of just treating it like a win-only win situation, just kind of treating it that way. But that's about it. We haven't gotten in dive too deep yet. I'm correct. Tomorrow you play Florida golf. Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. Had you played Florida golf throughout the year at all? No, we haven't. It's yeah. the first time we've seen them. So what is it like for you guys coming from Minnesota? You know, you're you're uh, a little bit west of Midwest and uh, coming here and experiencing teams you've never played before. How hard is that? Uh, it's definitely really tough because like it's everyone has a different dynamic and a different play style, and they we all play different teams obviously, so they get to see different guys and everything. But it's kind of just uh, looking at them before the game, during the game, and kind of getting used to their play a little bit. You guys having success last year, making it through to the semis. Do you, do you think that that experience has prepared you well for this year to where you know you got to shift down for that extra gear to, to make it to make it through out of your pool? Oh yeah, and uh, it, it definitely helps us know that like three, four, five games in a week are is very tough to play and that we just have to make sure that we try our best, like obviously try our hardest, but make sure we conserve a little bit of energy for the games, for when we need them, basically. So now you told me before you come on, Zach, you had been here last year. Yep. Logan, you had not. I have not, correct. First impressions of the national tournament? It's been good. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good teams here. It's been very competitive, pretty physical, good high pace, and it's been a lot of fun. Last year, as you know, we were at a monster facility, eight sheets in one building. Here, a little less with three. Um, what's the feeling like? You know, we have men's national championship trophy going to be handed out tonight. We have men's division three national championship trophy. You guys are in day two of pool play. We got the women's division one coming in. What, what, how do you feel about all the action? It's a lot. It's fun to watch. It's cool to be a part of. I'm just excited to hopefully go as far as we can, and we're looking to win. So, for the other guys in your group who um, have you know have been here for the first time. Tell me about the reliance on you know on your senior guys, on your leadership to get you emotionally prepared, you know, for that extra level of play here. Uh, we definitely rely on them a lot. They're our, the core of our team, and they pick us up when we're down. Uh, we got down pretty quick uh, yesterday and today, and they were a big part of our comeback to tie and then win. They were like fundamental and definitely instrumental in our uh, our comeback for that. Getting to lean on those guys, leading by example is a big yeah. part of our team. How, how do you think it, uh, you know, with, with, you know, with saying that you got down a bit, but, you know, coming out with the W today, what do you think it does for your confidence? I think it does a lot. I think we all believe that we can, we belong here and we can be here and we can win. And I think we've proved it to ourselves time and time again. And if we can put ourselves in a little bit better of a situation at the start of the game, I think we can close it out a lot quicker than we have at the very end, making it tight. Past. Which 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 potentially will be important tomorrow. If you you know if you, if you, with the tiebreaker, it may put you up in a scenario. You know, obviously depending upon what Florida Gulf does today in their pool play game, mm -hmm. but you may be in a scenario where you have to win and can't tie. Um, so so I th would you feel that that's important for you guys? Oh, very yes. From a trickle down effect of being at this national tournament, you know, and you probably could speak to this maybe a little better. Last year you guys were here. Last year you guys had tremendous success making it through to the semis, ultimately losing to the national championship winner, UMass. From a recruitment, from a scheduling standpoint, um, how, how do you feel that, that this national tournament exposure will, will, will help your club? Oh, it definitely helps us uh, get guys coming to us. Usually we have to, or like a lot of times we have to go to go to guys and try to get them. Now we've had guys coming to us and had teams wanting to play us more and for a challenge. So it's definitely really uh, important for us, to, like in the regular season, and it makes it easier for us to transition into the postseason because we play those higher end teams more often. Awesome. Well, hey guys, congratulations on a big win, and uh, study all the fine print in the uh, tiebreakers because <laughs> it may, it, it, you know, because it may come into play. Come down. But this is uh, Logan Oman and Zach Simon. University of St. Thomas and day two of pool play here at the Men's Division II National Championship.